So one frequent question that we get is now that you've found your why, what do you do with it? How do you use it? Well, one of the things you want to do is keep it all around you. One of the things that I've done is I actually would write my why uh, on my desk next to my bed so that I was reminded of it. That's number one. But also start talking about it. Um, I start meetings with it. Um, when I sit down with a meeting, I say, before we start this meeting, I'd like to tell you why I took this meeting or why I called this meeting. And I refer to my why and say how I believe that this potential partnership or this potential relationship could help me advance my cause, could help me advance my why. It works every time. It's extremely valuable in resumes and interviews as well. When somebody says, so why do you want this job? You say, let me tell you why I do everything. And maybe tell a story from your childhood or one of the stories that you told in the why discovery process to communicate your point. I used to do that in all my interviews. Uh, I, I still do it now. Um, I start meetings, I start talks, I start all kinds of things with it, and it gives people a context for who you are and where you're coming from. It's a huge advantage on resumes as well. I've never really understood at the top of resumes when people write purpose and they say to get a job in a top performing law firm, blah, 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 whatever they write. Of course, that's why everybody's applying for the job. Rather, use that space at the top of your resume to explain who you are, basically why you do what you do. It gives context to all the other jobs you've ever had. It gives context for who you are and it helps us stand out in the crowd of people who have similar experiences to us. Um, it also helps us understand sometimes where relationships fail, where we sometimes did things or said yes to things that in our guts it felt wrong, but if we compare it to our why, we realize that we should never have done it in the first place. So use it front and center, speak about it, tell the stories, use the stories as metaphors to explain who you are, talk about it constantly, start meetings with it.